Hello guys, uh, welcome to Jobos EAP7 uh, EAP7 uh, So my name is Veera Babu So today uh, we are going to look into this topics uh, How to connect uh, uh, Jobos into the JVS VM And uh, how to see you know, log rotation in JVS So both you know, very important in uh, production perspective So okay, so let's see this first JVS VM This is open source uh, When you have installed in your local uh, JVS VM You can open it, you can monitor it uh, Okay, let's see So I have a JBoss over here Okay so before starting this, let me see open my uh, where I have a JVS volume in my local. Okay. So when you have a install uh, Java, uh, where you should go to the web Java you install in your local. Okay. So I have installed user local Java and the JDK 1.8. Okay. So and go to the bin. So here you can see this file JS volume. So just you can go to J, you can run it. Uh, just okay. It will open a pop up. Okay. So, you know, there is no information over here, left side, okay. So, this is the uh, first uh, JVS World VM uh, login, uh, home page, okay. So, here, uh, now I am trying to monitor using this tool, my JBoss server, which is starting in my local. So, here you can see after when I start JBoss server, so here there is a line will come into the picture, okay? the process of JBoss. So, now I am going to start my JBoss, okay. So my JBoss is started. So just uh, okay. Now see this. So the process came. Just you right click on open it. So okay. So this is open. Uh, here uh, see this is my process ID of my JBoss. Uh, okay. So and uh, I'm using uh, 1.8 JDK. Okay. So I have a this list of JVM parameters uh, when I start my uh, okay uh, JBoss server. So I have uh, uh, the list of uh, JVM parameters. What are we added? Okay, it will try to you know uh, recognize all these parameters. It will show you all. Here, okay, so these are the you know, different different tabs I have. Okay, so when you install, uh, when you have any uh, you know, to see all these uh, tabs, if you don't see in your you know, local. So just go to the tools and add a plugins. Okay, here I have a installed uh, these many plugins. So that's why you can see uh, these many tabs out here. So if you not installed, just you can, uh, you can download the plugins also. So this monitor. So I can see my uptime is so my server uptime is one minute. Okay, so I can see CPU utilization and the heap utilization. Heap is, is one, th you know, uh, 1.3, you know, uh, 1.3 GB. Okay, size. Okay, that uh, what we you know see this is the XMS and XMS 1.3. Almost 1 GB, 1.3 GB. So that's what you are showing. Meta space, uh, as you know, so JDK 1.8, there is no function. Uh, so you introduce the meta space, uh, that's the utilization of the meta space. Okay, total and uh, our utilization, the threads, classes. Okay, so what are the threads are running in? Uh, what are threads are running? In, what threads are sleeping? You, know, you can see by this color. Okay, so the MP. So this is the tab very helpful when you know you want to see the database connections. How many connections are sleeping? How many connections are uh, uh, sleeping? You know, how many are busy? You know, all this you can see from the MPs. As well, CC also in depth. You know, utilization. Uh, you know, how uh, Eden space, old space, memory utilization. How many garbage collections are happened on Eden space? Okay, this space. Okay, all these you can see from here. This is very you know helpful to uh, when you to do the performance on the JVM level. Okay, so this is uh, to monitor at local uh, JBoss. Uh, if you are trying to monitor the remotely, so okay. Uh, you know to add or here remote uh, okay, right click on remote and just add the uh, no, uh, ip where your jboss uh, you are running okay this and i uh, have to add a jmx connection so here yeah. so to do this jmx and uh, no, you need to add the jvm parameters okay jmx you know, jmx uh, no, connection that you need to add it over here then you can enable the jmx remotely okay. this is how very simple uh, no, to monitor a jboss uh, uh, to connect on the jvz okay so the next, uh, you see, uh, next topic, uh, so how to uh, rotate the log file. So this is very important uh, when you, you know, in production, when it's a log you know, generated, it will impact on the performance. So, so, so by default, uh, JBoss is uh, you know, given, so let me kill this. So by default, JBoss will give you a you know, day-wise uh, rotation. Okay. So let me stop this. Okay. So JBoss here, this is the path 
by default we have our GC log over here and the server log is okay. So the server log is generated a 17k. Okay. Uh, as you, you know, if you want to make this is a daily wise. Okay. Uh, next day it will be you know May 24th, then it will generate one more log. So daily by default. So how to make this you know uh, size based uh, log rotation? Uh, let me go to the standalone XML over here. You can see a uh, logging subsystem is there in JBoss. So there you need to by default it will be uh, periodic rotation. So it will be this is a uh, daily uh, rotation part. Okay. So let me disable this and enable the uh, size rotation part. Okay, so I will add a size based log rotation over here. Okay, let me just copy this to Okay, this is so I added so it's a maximum part. Okay. okay, so this is and uh, here are some changes. So as I guess, so uh, this is okay. as you see, JBoss log, and we are looking for server. Log. This is server log file. This is uh, I would like to rotate for every uh, like two KB. Uh, that's example two KB. Okay, 2 kp so it will generate maximum of 10 files okay this is our basic information so the maximum size uh, no, it will allow you to 2 kp so after this it will generate one more log like immediately so total 10 maximum okay so let's change it okay let me okay, let me clear the log file first okay let's remove everything and, uh, Start this. Uh, it will see this here. Log server log. Uh, I think something wrong goes. Uh, sorry. So back. Small mistake. Something is missing. Sorry. Bad luck is missing. So, type of mistake. See this how is generated three, three, three files is got generated. So this is maximum. Uh, each file is uh, so this is a first file, okay. So so this is uh, two k. Uh, it's just logs are generated very few, very fastly. So it's, it's exceeded a little more, okay. Two two k b. So this is the first and uh, this is the second, okay. This is the third one. So it's a very many huge file now. These many uh, files are generated. Okay? Each file is size uh, around two uh, k b. Okay. I mean it's how you uh, know uh, very fast you know, it will you uh, know it will exceed a little more okay so approximately it will after 2k it will you uh, know try to generate one more log file so this is how we can make it a uh, log rotation in a JWAS area either size based or uh, no, periodic based okay that's all so this is very simple okay, that's all so thank you guys uh, thanks for watching this video